continue to work his way through this bracket here on loser's side. And Cody off to an insane start, pulling the Mr. Saturn to start things up, trying to find the combo. But Jen's FDI is going to let him get out and able to find the reversal. Cody not able to give him the juggle, the pressure just mounting from both these players. It is a full-on brawl right now, my friends. And the back and forth, the swing, Cody not able to get too much. Jen saying, get that Mr. Saturn out of here. I like my shield. I like to be able to play defensive. Mix my pace of the game. I don't want all the swinging, but it didn't go away. It's still on save. PS2 is so incredibly long. Jen opting to refresh the Saturn there, saying, okay, now I can maybe use it against you, but Cody not giving him the opportunity. The pressure for both players has been relentless. It's, but Cody gonna learn from Quid earlier, and instead of DIing in like Quid, he's gonna find his way on out and not get caught by the back air, not lose that stock, and able to continue this pressure from a stage control situation. And I like the way he's positioning himself around these platforms. He's giving himself the open space when he want on, when he wants to play aggressive, and then when he wants to play defensive, he's retreating under these platforms to not let Jen do a fall a full hop falling aerial on him. He's forcing, he's limiting Jen's timing mix that's on these aerials. And he's forcing him to really fight in one of the weaker parts of Palutena's game, that grounded game plan, and and see what can't get cooking the fourth throw not gonna find its mark unfortunately jen able to reset the teleport into the cancel off the edge of platform gonna allow him to reset the neutral but that dash attack lasts forever nowhere to run nowhere to hide and it's gonna be cody taking the first stock but hey it's been even this whole time these players keep swinging back and forth why not keep it locked on up folks the the blender is continuing. The scrap situation is relentless. These two players are swinging, giving you some high octane smack pros to enjoy here tonight in Westchester. Jen willing to take a moment, react right, find his way into that corner pressure situation, and again, opting to slow things down. And the explosive flame's gonna reset into the up air and find a stock, but now Cody gonna find big damage, but not the dash attack, so only 50%. And the continued advantage state, the overextension though, oh, he is gonna put himself he's gonna put himself in the corner, give Jen the opportunity to utilize Palu's immense ability, this invulnerable back air, this incredibly active neutral air, to just catch the preemptive buttons that Peach sometimes has to throw out. And if you give Jen an inch, especially in the corner, he is gonna take a mile, converting that one over extension of positioning reversal. It wasn't even off stage into the whole dang stock in game. And you can see it on Cody's face. He is deep in thought on how to not let that one happen again. And Maddie said he was gonna send someone. Well, oh well. Start the battle. And getting into game number two. Three, We're seeing the stage two, switch over to one, small battlefield and one of the go. most underrated bangers in the entire game, Dark Pit Speed. And something to remember, Dark Pit, an original, originally a character for Smash Ultimate before Kid Icarus Uprising, so, you know, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, this is a Smash Bros. song, and you can hear it, right, that patience, that pacing, that hype, the guitar, the upbeat action, it is matching the pace of these two players play as they once again are going at it. No resets needed, no patience indeed. It's gonna be read, react, combo left and right. That time Jen gonna call out Cody and find the near zero to death. Keep the blender going. Cody just not able to get away from the relentless pressure. And now you're seeing Jen start to find his way out of some of these combo starters. Cody needs to find ways to adjust and fast. Each bummer gonna find its mark. Order, you're gonna find that pressure back to stage. Age. Jen's recovery is finding so much extra mileage because he's willing to mix up when he goes to the teleport and when he goes back to the ledge, when he goes high and just lets himself fall. There is no way to know what this man is going to do or when. And 
as well as his position, the way, the choices he makes in terms of holding the space when he chooses to challenge you, just like that, as soon as Cody held shield, so even if he tried to punish, if there's not really a whole lot of anywhere for Oria to go, and Jen's willingness, right, he's gonna play super aggro on you, he's gonna get in there, find that pressure, and never let you breathe, and then he's gonna back off, slow things down, use some auto reticles, some explosive flame, make you think you're safe, and then pick up that piece of pressure again. We're seeing it over and over as he just finds juggle after juggle. Now Cody trying to find a way back down, but out of resources, has to try and, and log whatever he has left, and the peak bomber's gonna let him get back. The bear overswing from Jen there, trying to find a little bit of extra mileage with that down air, gonna give Cody the stock, but that down air only came out to show that Jen is incredibly confident and the question is, you reset Jen's percent, you open the door up with these Peach combos. We saw just 64% there in the corner. Can you see Peach find the answer? No, we're seeing Jen again hold underneath these platforms with Auto Radical, set up a little bit of a lean to, and force Cody to get creative on his approaches. The float cancel timing to find your way in are so tight and just not able to do so. Unfortunately, gonna end up getting ledge from back aired. Get down in the hole 2-0. Cody very much still capable of clawing his way back into this set, but he needs to remain composed and he needs to breathe, slow down the pace of the game, and just say, hey, what do I do best as Peach? How do I control the pace of the game? Because it's not that he's getting outplayed play here. It's that he's not being given a chance to outplay his opponent because Jen is just locking down the piece of play the entire time. And, you know, as well, right, Jen, again, one of the best players against Peach out here in Tri-State 8. And in New England, and if you want to extend that to New England as well, the entire Northeast, if I do say so myself. But what can Cody find? We're seeing the town and city pick, which means that Kalos, FD, likely taken away. You don't want to take Palo to a small stage, so you're opting for a little bit more room. That's flat space to get those extra combos. The downside, both of you often want to kill horizontally, and just and Palo is able to find those back airs, those back throws, kill you sooner. And that time, not going to need it though. Just going to find the soft spike and Peach's horizontal recovery, almost second to none. But the horse, the vertical, you know, that parasol is built, built to go sideways, not up and down. Now, again, it's just Cody trying to find a way back down, and we're seeing a lot of air dodges, neutral air dodges from these players, but no fast fall with neutral air dodges. We're not seeing that mix up a whole ton here against Jen. Yes, Kalu can cover it. But if you're not mixing it in, they never have to respect it, and you are making your normal neutral air dodge mix up significantly worse by doing so. Oh, we're starting to see Cody call attempt to call out some of these aggressive landings from Jen, and you saw Jen respect it there, backing off to reset instead. This is Cody's first real opportunity to establish the pace of game, but instead he gave up stage for free, finding a grab to get it back from another overcommitment from Jen, but when you're seeing Jen play this aggressively, it's not just, okay, you're not keeping up. It, it, it's, you're not keep, what it is, is it, it's not just, hey, this is my key to the matchup. It's, you're not keeping up with me. When I control the place of the play and play like this, you don't have an answer. And so far, Cody's had very few to none. And so Jen hasn't had to play. It's not that he can't, it's he hasn't needed to show it and has just been immaculate. Peach not really having great tools to contest the invulnerable backers either. It's just so hard to find anywhere to go, and with the short side blast zones, even Peach is gonna live another day, but it's gonna be close, but no cigar for Jen. Down throw this time to try and find a little bit of a DI next up, maybe find the DI in there, into a back air, but instead, Cody able to DI out, at least get on the board for this game. Can he find the percent, negate the three stock, and then from there, can you find your way to that last stock situation, right? It's not about taking the game right now, it's about one stock at a time. How do you play each interaction to maximize your opportunity of winning that interaction, and then move on to the next one? He has to stay composed, and the one preemptive button, the one kick forward is all it's gonna take for Jen to pounce on that end lag like a starving cat finding a mouse, and...